What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here. In this video, we are talking about building up your pectoral muscles, your chest, your pecs, whatever you want to call them. Um, either pre-hormones or pre-top surgery or just in general, overall, no matter what you decide to do in your life as per your own personal transition. So, let's just jump right into this video. want you to get a sense of how to do the exercise rather than just watching me go through the exercises. So first off, I just want to introduce you to the exercises. So the first exercise is going to be a wide grip push-up. The second exercise is going to be a shoulder grip push-up or shoulder length push-up. The third exercise will be a diamond push-up which will also work some of your uh, tricep. Then we'll go into I couldn't think of a good name for this. Uh, it's kind of like a V push up because you kind of have like your butt up in the air. Um, and we'll do a V push up. We'll also do incline push ups and we'll also be incorporating dips, which you would just need two chairs or two hard surfaces that you can put close together. So, really easy to do. All you need literally is just some open space. And if you want to do some dips, maybe two chairs. Uh, that you can put together and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But I think the main thing to remember about this workout is this is called a circuit workout, which means you're going to do the first exercise for about 30 seconds. Then you're going to give yourself a 10, 15 second break. Honestly, take as much time as you need in between, but you want to get like your heartbeat up. So, um, you know, it, it, the less time in between, the better. So you're going to do 30 seconds on, then you'll take about 10 to 15 seconds off. Then you'll do 30 seconds of the second exercise, 10 to 15 seconds, and you'll keep going. Third exercise, 10 to 15 seconds, four ex fourth exercise for 30 seconds, then you'll take 10 to 15 seconds off. Then you'll give yourself about two, to I say four or five minute break, and then you'll repeat this circuit. Now, I would suggest to do this circuit, start off your first time doing it about three rounds, then I would up it to about four rounds. That's usually a really good time, um, and again, you can push yourself within those 30 seconds. You shouldn't have to do 20 circuit pretty much you can get the same results if you just bust your ass during the 30 seconds rather than having to do like 14 circuits of, of 30 seconds of mediocre effort put in so while making this video kind of condensed and quick i don't want this to be some 20 minute video on how to do a push-up but what i want you to do is i want you to get a sense of how the exercise is actually completed so the first exercise is going to be the wide grip push-up. So we're going to move on over to the floor. I have this open space right here. I'm going to move this table, I mean this chair a little bit more. So I have this open space right here. So my shoulders are right here. So if we're going to go a little outside of shoulder width, I'm going to go about here. Okay. So in order to do a good push-up, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your ass is really flat and straight. You know, you're, the look of your back should be like this. Not, you're not really going to be completely straight like this. It's going to be a little bit like this because, you know, your arms are up and your feet are down. So a little outside width, get in position, and we're just going to go down, touch, and up. And so you're going to do this for 30 seconds, as many as you can do in 30 seconds. Then you'll take about a 10 or 15 second break. So this is what it looks like if you're above. All right, outside shoulder width. Boom. And I also just want to show you really quick, this is how you're going to do all of your push-ups. I want to show you how my back is so that you can really get a sense of how fairly straight your back should be. So if you notice, the only thing really up, right, if I lay down, that's what my back looks like. That's what I want it to look like when I'm up in this position. See that? It's not really moving much. So you'll do that for about 30 seconds. Then you're going to take a 10 to 15 second break. If it's your first round, you know, your first time really ever working out, you can take longer. But eventually you like to work on this like 30 seconds on, 10 to 15 seconds off, 30 seconds on. So the second exercise is a shoulder. So as you can tell, what we're going to do is we're going to go from wide grip to shoulder grip, to diamond grip, okay? So next up is your is your shoulder. So again, this is where my shoulders are at, right here. Okay, get in position. Now these are what you would consider like a generic push-up. When someone says like, drop down and give me 20, <laughs> this is usually the position that people go. 
So you do this again, 30 seconds. So you have 30 seconds wide grip, 30 seconds shoulder grip, then you'll take 10, 15 seconds off and then you'll move into diamond grip. Diamond grip can be a little hard at times, um, especially if you don't have a lot of tricep development. So if you need to, the, essentially you'd want the diamond to touch fingers. If you need to, you can start out wide and then as you practice, get closer and closer and closer. So for example, this is what you would want it to look like. Nice diamond, it literally looks like a diamond in there. Actually, it kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss to me, or a Hova sign. <laughs> Oh, um, so you do a little diamond push up like this. Your elbows go kind of out and back to the side. Again, you'll do this for 30 seconds. If you need to, you can move out just a little bit and go like this and then slowly be able to work your way in a little bit more and then a little bit more until you're able to touch. The next exercise is going to be an incline push up. So what I do here is I have a chair or for instance, I was almost gonna use this garbage can flipped over, but it's got trash in it, so I don't really feel like using it. Um, so I'm gonna use this chair. I'm gonna put my toes on this chair and I'm gonna use this as my incline. You could also use the bed, um, depending on how high of an incline you wanted to go. I mean, I could even pull out this drawer and put my feet on here if I needed to. So I'm just gonna put your feet up on here. I'll kind of go at an angle for you guys so you can see. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna go about shoulder width apart down up. Just like before, we want to make sure that chest touches the ground. And so you'll do this for 30 seconds. Then you'll take a 10 or 15 second break. And again, this is on the piggybacking off of the other three push-ups. Then you'll take a 10 to 15 second break. And we're going to go into what I was calling the V push-up. I, I honestly, uh, I'm sure I could look online and find the actual word for this push-up. But it's pretty much just a great way to try to target that upper chest and you're gonna literally kind of put your body in a V shape here. Put your body kind of like this. Your butt's gonna be very up, okay? Your arms are gonna be a little bit, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. So this would be my shoulder width. I'm gonna put them right here. Not super wide, but kind of that in between, okay? So I'm gonna go kind of in between. I'm gonna go up on my toes. I'm gonna put my butt up as high as I can, okay? And then I'm gonna push down and up touch my face kind of the floor and up and I'll do that for about 30 seconds now it's gonna get harder as the time goes on okay so don't be mad at yourself if at first you're getting 10 push-ups and by the end you're getting four you know what I mean it's just how it goes sometimes what you'll notice is if you keep a record you'll be able to track that the first time you did five the second time you did seven the third time you did eight and I'm sure that you'll keep going up now if you stop for three weeks you're not gonna go back and be eight. You'll probably be at four, five, and work your way up again. So, one more time, a little bit further than shoulder width apart, ass up in the air. It's kind of as close as I can get without it being really uncomfortable for me. I'm gonna touch my face to the floor. Just like that. Now, to finish off, I challenge you to do one minute after this circuit of on of a plank. Now, a plank is when this is an elbow plank, but the great thing about elbow plank is it actually does, not only does it engage your core, planks are mostly known for ab work, but so not only does it engage your core, but it actually also engages your chest. So, plank is just gonna be shoulders like this, You're gonna be up like this, try to keep your ass not down, but not up. Again, you wanna kinda be flat, uh, straight like that, okay? And you're just gonna stay here. So what I challenge you is to stay here for a start with 30 seconds. Then try to move up to 40 seconds, then 50, then a minute. Um, this is really good, just kind of helps the burnout of your chest. You can also go like this on one on each side if you like. Personally, I would just stay here. I think that this is a great core and also adds in a little bit of that chest, kind of just to fatigue the chest out at the end. One last exercise I want to show, I actually don't have the best equipment for it, but it is a really good at-home workout. And so you're gonna grab two chairs, and so this is gonna be my first chair, and I'm gonna use this table as my second chair. The one thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to get something that's uneven. See how these are uneven? This chair is about, I don't know, two or three inches higher than this. I really wouldn't prefer that. Uh, you're just, lots of case of injury. And also a swivel chair, it's not a good idea. But I'm at a hotel, I'm trying my best, I wanna show you guys. So, dips, 
you're gonna go, just gonna put one arm on each and hold yourself up, okay? And then you're gonna dip down till your arms are at about a 90 degree level, uh, 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna dip down to about here and then I'm gonna press back up, down and up. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Again, this is not ideal. Actually, I, it's really not ideal because what's gonna happen is whatever arm is closest to you is gonna be the arm, is gonna be the pectoral muscle that's gonna take on most of the work. So in this stance, this is lower. So my right side is gonna actually work less than my right side. I mean, my right side is gonna work less than my left side. So, and I can feel it too. So maybe what I might do in this case is I might turn around and I might work so that this side can also get hit. And I'm moving around a little bit because again, this chair swivels, not ideal, but it works. I literally just ran through that and I already have a nice little pump going on in my chest and I didn't even do the 30 seconds. I literally just did about 10 or 20 reps of each exercise to show you guys just to get some footage. And I've already got a little bit of a pump going. I really think that these push-ups are real big staples in chest work. Um, it's really simple to do. You don't need anything, really. Uh, you don't even have to do the dips. They're just something extra if you have lying around. But the point is, is that if you have never developed any chest muscle, if you've really never worked out in your life, this is a great way to start. It doesn't cost any money. And honestly, it doesn't take that much time. And you can do this circuit for your chest two, three times a week. Um, and especially like, you know, if you're somebody who travels a lot, somebody who doesn't have a lot of time, um, you know, these are really good quick workouts, a quick workout at home that you can do for zero dollars. <laughs> and it will work, it will develop your pecs. Um, I know that I do train with weights and I have been for years, but you will develop muscles if you start doing this type of exercises. You can go ahead and Google right now or look on YouTube right now, body weight exercises and stuff like that. Or, or for instance, look up, uh, what's the, what, what are they, the bar stars? Bar stars are so cool. They make like anything, like they just make people look massive right and so bar stars is just like a it's a calisthenics group that does like pull-ups and crazy stuff like that but they don't use any weight besides their own body weight and so that's what I'm trying to get to is that you don't necessarily always need huge weights I hope this workout little uh, circuit workout helps some of you if you're just nervous to get into the gym or if you know you want to get top surgery but you really want to build some pictorial muscle underneath first or if you're just fresh out of top surgery and you've got the go from your doctor to start working out but you don't want to go too crazy into it you can start doing at home workouts like these they're very very helpful and i for one definitely attest my post my like original post opness <laughs> when i first got top surgery um to just looking a little bit more aesthetic. Uh, and that's just because I already had pectoral muscles underneath my tissue, my breast tissue. So when they removed that tissue, I was able to, you were able to actually see the definition that I had created in my pec. There you go, guys. I hope that this helps some of y'all. And please feel free, like you, you should really do, what you should do is you should keep a log and you should log what you did and how much of each you did. Then, what you should also do is you should take a picture of the first week, take a picture of the second week, third week, every week, once a week, take a picture and then look between the first week and the eighth week, do you see more definition? Now, you're not going to blow up overnight, okay? I've been working out a very long time. I, pro I could be bigger, but I've got a lot of other goals in my life. And um, what I'm trying to get out is like, you're not gonna look like Ronnie Coleman the minute, you know, after eight weeks of doing chest workouts. And you're not gonna magically no longer have breast tissue by doing these workouts either. But they are gonna help you. They're, I've noticed for me when I worked out pre-T, just made me feel more connected to my body. It made me feel like I am strong, that I, I can, you know, um, I can hold my own type of thing. All right, hope you liked the video. Hope that it helps you. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more stuff like this, comment below. I really wanna know uh, what you guys wanna see. I've been doing a lot of the top surgery stuff and doing a lot of motivational Monday stuff. Uh, it's been like 
two months, if not a little bit more, that I've been doing that type of stuff. So I would like to maybe switch it up a little bit for y'all, you know, kind of go back and forth between different styles of videos I do. And uh, your comments and your suggestions below are always, always helpful to me. So I appreciate that. If you like the video and you're uh, not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and you'll catch more stuff like this as well as a bunch of other topics. And I appreciate the love, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Come <laughs>